Thank you for participating today. Uh, we'll now begin with an opening statement from Coach Self and then go to questions. Please use the raise hand function to indicate you would like to ask a question. When you are called on for a question, please state your name and affiliation. Our first question comes from Shea Wildeboer from Jayhawks Land. Hey, Coach, this is Shea from Jayhawks Land. Um, I know that obviously the game just ended, but do you have a, a feeling or um, an idea of maybe why things went the way they did? Repeat that, Shay. Do I have a feeling for what? Maybe why the why things played out the way they did tonight? Well, I think that they, they were obviously more prepared. Uh, they played better, uh, coached better. Uh, we shot it miserably, uh, and it's going to be hard to score for us over that length, regardless. But and they they shot it unbelievably well. Uh, even early in the game, you know in the first you know 10 possessions or whatever we had some looks didn't make any and they made some and we played from the from a hole the entire time but uh uh yeah that, that that's that's about as poor as, as we can play and i'm sure annie would say that's you know certainly one of their better moments uh, better games so uh it was a bad combination all the way around for us Next question is from Gus Bailo from the University of Daly, Kansan. Hey, Coach. Uh, you know, tonight was not the greatest night shooting from beyond the arc. Obviously, they, they had a good night shooting from beyond the arc. Can, can you just talk about maybe the struggles that you guys had, you know, shooting the three ball? Well, I think their length obviously bothered us, but our shot selection was poor. You know, we haven't been a great shot, shot selection team all year long. And, and uh, uh, tonight, it seemed like to me, when, our, when we got a little sped up and – we didn't execute. Uh, we took some very marginal shots. And so, you know, we're 6 of 25, but I bet of the 25 we took, I bet you 10 to 15 were, were probably marginal at best. And, and uh, but playing a, a team like that and beating length and a team that's going to stay in the zone if you don't make shots, you've got to make some shots, especially when you don't have big guys, uh, 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 multiple big guys that you can play inside. So, uh, it was disappointing, uh, uh, but you know, I, I go back and I say, what if we had done this and that? Maybe if we played Mitch and David both together and played zone the whole game. I don't know, but uh, uh, we, it certainly wasn't very good. And uh, our three ball offense wasn't very good, but neither was our interior scoring as well. Next question is from Scott Chasen from 247 Sports. Uh, hey, Bill, Scott Jason here, 24 7 Sports. Uh, just wanted to ask about Marcus. Um, it seemed like he was uh, really going all out today. Obviously, got in foul trouble, but your thoughts on if this is his finale, I guess, his day? Yeah, I, I hate it for all our guys that obviously we played like we did tonight and it ended this way, but more so for Marcus than anybody else. Uh, uh, I thought he competed, uh, I thought he did a very good job on Evan. Uh, uh, you know, with the size mismatch and everything, they, they they do a really good job of posting up on the perimeter, and and uh, it's hard to deny him the basketball when he posts up like that on, at the top of the key. And but still, yeah, Mark guarded him fairly well. I I, I would I would say, and you know, we just couldn't guard his brother. But uh, uh, I'm disappointed for Mark. I thought he competed. I thought he tr tried his butt off. Uh, uh, he got frustrated there in the first half, obviously, when he didn't get a whistle, and then he kind of fouled, made a dumb foul. But, uh, you know, if this is his last game, and I know he's got some decisions, a decision to make, uh, uh, I'm really proud to have been his coach, and certainly I totally appreciate his abilities and, and, and what he gets out of uh, himself uh, each and every day. So uh, Jayhawk fans should be very proud of him as well. Next question. Question is from Sam Lance. Sam Lance from the University of Daily Kansan. And uh, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Sam Lance with the UDK. You know, it wasn't really the way you guys wanted to go out, but what do you think you kind of learned from a season like this? Well, I think for a lot of teams out there, it's been a hard year. And, and certainly with us, it's been a hard year. The thing, the thing I thought uh, about this team as much as anything, I, I thought we did a really good job certain times of the season to play into our strengths. Uh, I really thought we were peaking at the right time uh, going into postseason. And then, of course, we've had, you know, uh, the COVID bug hit us. But that's not an excuse. But, but uh, uh, I, I, I think that there was less margin for error for this, on this team, probably than any team we've had since I've coached here. 
and I think our guys maximized their ability pretty well. But but our margin was there of error, uh, margin of error was small, and when we played uh, uh, in a, a way where the ball stuck or or we became one on one players or or whatnot and didn't really play together or help each other, uh, we became very average or even poor like we were tonight. So I I, th I think we've learned uh, that uh, there is a certain way to play, and if you play that way, we can be pretty successful. But if we don't, we get average or below average real fast. And and this felt like today this was a team in January. Uh, uh, and then when we got behind and got frustrated, we just didn't have enough juice to uh, uh, put anything together to make it a game. Next question is from C.J. Moore of The Athletic. Hey, Bill, I, I, I know you compared these guys to, to Texas. Did you think, you know, kind of looking back on it, that this was maybe just a really, really tough matchup for you guys, um, yeah. kind of similar oh. to they were? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's no question. Uh, uh, I, I, I would never say this to our team, but, you know, I was – I wouldn't have been disappointed if Drake had won the game against uh, SC. But not because Drake's not good, just because it's hard for us to match up with length and athletic ability. That's that's been the downfall of our team all year long, and I think that was probably as evident tonight as it has been in a long time. We we uh, we the way that we defend, the way you know, if you got a five man that can shoot, uh, uh, the way that we defended, and way it was successful in our league, and things like that, obviously could have been an issue tonight if if. Uh, if uh, Isaiah made threes and he was four or five and he's made 12 for the year. So uh, that, that, that kind of staggered us and, and, and put us in a situation where we really didn't recover. But, 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 but they're so long. And, and uh, I thought Kai Jones was long, but I think, I think Evan is even longer than Kai. Uh, at least to me, he plays that way. Is there anything yeah. you can do? Excuse Sorry. me? Is there anything you can do to, to like address that for 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 next year to, to when you play teams like that? Do you think in, in this little off season you have? Uh, yeah, you can recruit. Uh, uh, you can address it through recruiting. You can address it through player development. But you know, the, the, the guys, uh, uh, for us to be a, 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 a team that really has a chance to be a national contender. I mean, we, we need to we need to get a little bit more athletic. Uh, we do, and we need to get a little longer and bigger and and those sorts of things. Uh, but uh, I thought our guys, you know, for the most part, played pretty well and played maximize their, their individual abilities pretty well this year. Uh, uh, but 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 tonight, uh, the length definitely mattered. Thanks, Bill. Last question from Benton Smith from the Lawrence Journal World. Hey, how, how difficult have the, the past couple of weeks been for Dave and Jalen, just not being able to have that kind of continuity with the team this time of year? Uh, you know, it'd be better to ask them. But, you know, we got lucky the other night, and you guys know it. We, 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 we were fortunate the other night, and Dave played really well the second half. and uh, But we were ripe the other night, and – you know, we, we try to put a Band-Aid on it, but but th but th this this team uh, 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 down a starter or down a couple of starters, uh, uh, even if it's even if guys are actually playing in the game, but 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 don't have rhythm and, and uh, certainly hadn't practiced and those sorts of things that 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 puts us in a situation where uh, our margin of error is even smaller. So uh, it's been it's been it's been difficult. I'm proud of our guys that we made it to the tournament. I'm proud of the guys that we were a three seed. I'm proud of the guys that we won a game in the tournament. I'm just not leaving out of here, nor are they uh, uh, remotely proud about how we performed or prepared or how we got them ready tonight. Uh, uh, you know, to me, that's Kansas deserves better, and certainly, uh, 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 you know, and we we didn't we didn't we didn't, we didn't perform. Coach, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your time. Coach. Okay, we're going to be joined momentarily by Marcus Garrett. Please use this time to raise or lower your hand as necessary.
Okay, we're now boy joined by Marcus Garrett and we'll begin the press conference. Again, use the raise hand function uh, so we can call on you. Our first question is from Gus Balo from the University da Daily Kansas. Hey, Marcus, uh, you know, the three point shooting tonight was not the best for you guys. Uh, can you just talk about, you know, maybe why, you know, the three point shot wasn't going down for you know any of you guys tonight? Um, I really can't, I really don't know why they weren't going in. I just feel like we were shooting them and we just couldn't make a shot. Right. And then obviously too, uh, you know, you obviously have a decision to make, but you know, what has it been like, you know, as in your time at Kansas, uh, you know, the big picture in your four years, you know, as a, as a Jayhawk? It's been incredible. Um, especially Coach Seth, he gave me an opportunity. Uh, he changed my life. I'm gonna actually be the first person in my family to graduate in May, so. I really appreciate what him and the coaching staff done for me and my family over these past four years. Just the way he taught me how to be a man, really. Coming from where I come from, you, you really don't know a lot about being a man or things outside of basketball, but Coach Self taught me everything. Thanks, Marcus. Next question comes from Scott Chasen, 24-7. Hey, Marcus, uh, just wanted to ask kind of big picture on the season. Where, where do you think it, it kind of, I guess, fell short for you guys when you did struggle? And where do you kind of see this team going in the future, even if you have moved on from it? Um, I just feel like we fell short today. We kind of picked the wrong day to not make any shots. And the other team was making everything that they shot. So, I mean, it. With this team next year, they, they got a chance to do something special. Every year, I feel like a Kansas team with Coach Self have a chance to do something special. Okay, that's all the questions that we have for you right now, unless anybody else wants to raise their hand. Uh, let's see. That Benton, Benton Smith from the Lawrence Journal World. Hey, Marcus, you guys have been so good defensively this year. Uh, what did you feel like was maybe lacking tonight? It seemed like, especially at the end of the first half, USC was really able to, to go on a big run. Uh, yeah, I think I picked up my, what was that, second foul? At their, at, um, and then I felt like they just went on a big run and stretched the lead out at halftime. And throughout the second half, it felt like we could never get the, get the game back from them. They just kept hitting shots and kept hitting anything they wanted to offensively. Last question is from Sam Lance. Hey, Marcus, what did you make of that spark that Tyon brought for you guys off the bench today? Oh, it was great. That's what Tyon can do. He could, he could score in bunches. Um, he, he's kind of, that's what he does. That's what he's known for, just scoring. And he, that's what he came in the game and just sure he could score quick and easy. All right. Thank you, Marcus, for your time. That's it for our post-game news conference. A transcript of the coach's interview will be provided by ASAP Sports and posted along with the recording of this press conference in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at www.ncaaveritone.com. Thank, Thank you for joining us.